We're loved. Okay, so one of the conclusions, you know you're loved. Okay, what's another conclusion you can make and you can draw from what's up on the screen? Chris Lawler wrote it. There seems to be evidence for that. Spelling errors probably would... Okay, there are, there are others. What conclusions can we make? It's for the church. It's for the church. What? It's a message. It's today. Okay. Keep chasing. That you, you can know my heart for you. Okay. One thing, for whatever reason, I'm surprised by this. No one made the conclusion that random static electricity created a message that appeared to be intelligible. None of you said that. All of you made an assumption that a mind, doesn't actually have to be intelligent, but a mind was behind that page. Why? Information always requires a mind. And that's just a couple of sentences. And it is my heart for you, by the way. And so understand this, that information, whether it's a book or a song or whatever it might be, when we see a message, hear a message, we know that there was a messenger, someone created it. Won't spend a lot of time on this, but it's really, really cool that in every cell of your body is the most complicated code ever written or recorded, DNA. An actual, literal alphabet that, can, that, that, is, that is wound up in such a way that it interacts with one another. It's like computer code, but, but, but greater. An actual alphabet of instruction of how to build you. But this blew me away as I was studying this for this message. Somebody said that, uh, of course, we have trillions and trillions of strands of DNA in a body, in a human body. All of you have trillions of strands of DNA in your body. But they said if you took every strand of DNA in your body and kind of unwove it or unwound it so that it was straight and put it end to end, how far do you think that strand would go? Just out of curiosity, again, we're talking together, how far might that reach? How long might that be? All the DNA in your body stretch out end to end. Five, I heard five, 5,000 miles to the moon and back. That sounded like an old TV show. Eternity, you know. Okay. I thought I heard somebody say a football field, right? Well, here's, here are the figures. And I've, I've checked. This is what the scientists actually say. That if you took the DNA in one person, in a Steve Barry, and you stretched it end to end, it would reach from the earth to the sun and back 600 times, 18 trillion miles of DNA in every single person. That's one person. And every bit of that DNA has been written with the code of how to build you, the blueprint of how to build you. Is it even remotely possible that that kind of information could happen by accident? I think not. I think not. Listen to the scripture. Psalm 139, 13. I bet you'll never hear this passage the same way again. Talking to God. For you created my inmost beings. What is more inmost than our DNA? What is more inmost than the, than the code, the blueprints that built us? For you created my blueprint being. You knit me. You wound me together in my mother's womb. As if the scripture even before the, the psalmist, before they even knew about DNA, was saying, God, every bit of blueprint was written by you. 